My name is Mark Cruz. I'm a technical representative with Nikon Canada. And my name is Chris Oganek. I'm the national technical trainer for Nikon Canada. Today we're going to go over a couple of the main points on the new D5300. Uh, kind of jumping right into it, we have three colors, black, red, and gray. Now, Mark, when people go into a store or they read online about the camera, one of the first things that they're going to hear about is the new sensor. So we have a 24 megapixel sensor, and we were kind of talking earlier about how you just moved into a new house, mm -hmm. you have a bunch of uh, bare walls. How is that high resolution going to help you decorate your new place? Oh, yeah, so for me, when I make prints, I like to blow them up. I like to print them big. And with the 24 megapixels of the D5300, I'm pretty much able to expand them to whatever size I want. But the more practical thing for me is I'm able to crop and when I do that, I can still print out, you know, 11 by 14, 16 by 20, whatever uh, the case may be, and still get pretty good clarity. Now, you on the other hand shoot a lot of sports. Mm -hmm. How has this camera helped in that? Well, there's a couple main things that you want from a sports camera. First is you want a high continuous frame rate, and the next is you want a very accurate autofocus system that's actually going to track your subject. So with the D5300, you're getting five frames per second. So it's quite fast for a, for a compact little camera like this. Uh, you also have a highly advanced 39-point autofocus system. So the best part about this system is, yes, there's a lot of points, but they're very densely packed together. So the camera always knows where your subject is, whether it's tracking towards, away, or laterally as well. So you give this camera to anybody in the family, the teenager, your wife, your husband, doesn't matter. Anybody's going to be able to get great sports shots with the 5300. Definitely, I've seen an improvement in my soccer and hockey shots with this camera. Yep. Um, so, so far we've kind of talked a few uh, photography specs. Mm -hmm. So we've talked about the sensor, we've talked about the autofocus system. There's a lot of video specs in this camera as well. Any of them kind of jump out at you? Yeah, the first thing that's going to jump out to anyone that picks this camera up for the first time is the smoothness and the fluidity of the video. When you turn on your live view and you hit that record button, you're now shooting default at 1920 by 1080 at 60p. It's a super fast frame rate that gives you this unreal smoothness when you see it on your LCD screen and especially when you put it up to a big LCD screen. Now this is the first Nikon DSLR to ever have this feature, isn't it? Yes, yes. The combination of the frame rate, the fast frame rate at 60p at 1920 by 80 is actually a first for a Nikon DSLR. So that's huge. And when you're slowing down your uh, video later on in post-processing, if you, you know, kind of uh, dabble into that, you're going to find that those images are, and that video is a whole lot more smooth. Now, um, Nikon has also improved the way it auto-focuses with the new 18 to 140. When it's combined with the D5300, you're going to find the autofocus in video is so much more smooth, but more importantly, so much more quiet mm -hmm. with this lens. Uh, Nikon has also improve the LCD screen, the swivel LCD screen, by expanding it to 3.2 inches. So it's a bigger screen. Um, for me, this is the number one camera that I go to for stills and video because I do everything in one package and I take it around to all my travels. Now, speaking of travels, you travel a lot on this job. How has the D5300 helped with that? Well, I do a lot of traveling for work, but I also do a lot of traveling for my personal life as well. And one of the things I like to be able to do is look back at the photos I've taken and see not only where I took them, but also share those locations with my friends and family to be able to kind of show off the whole package. With the D5300, you have a built-in GPS device in the actual camera itself that automatically will geotag every photo that you take. And by opening up very easily our View X2 software, you can go and view where every single photo was taken with a very high resolution Google Maps that's attached right to it. So it makes it really, really easy uh, to share and to view where you've taken the shots. The fact that that feature is built in is huge. I really like that. It is. Uh, now that isn't the only new built-in feature. There's also Wi-Fi. Yeah, well in our house it's a big thing because my wife is an iPhone shooter. She likes to use it a lot simply because it's easy to share through her favorite social media she always, sites. She always has it on her. <laughs> it always has it on her. So now the D5300 can work with the iPhone or even Android powered devices. And the way it does that, the built-in Wi-Fi feature allows them to transfer their images taken with the 5300 on to their device, whether it be their phone or tablet, and immediately share. Now, that's something that's done quite easily. It's built in, and you really need no technical expertise whatsoever. So, it's a great way to share immediately wherever you are through your favorite social media sites. Now, speaking of websites, how can we find out more about the D5300? 
Well, if anybody wants to find out more about the D5300, this small, compact DSLR that's jam-packed full of still and video features that pretty much anyone in the family can get great results from, you can feel free to go to any of our social media sites or go to Nikon.ca.